Hi, Box fans, Rick Tyler here. You find me in uh, lovely Holland this week, free fishing the Anglo Dutch. Weather's been awful, so it's the first day we've really had an opportunity to do some filming. I wanted to capture uh, basically my setup when I'm fishing the River Isle. Now, if you're only going to be fishing the River Isle and not going to be fishing the lakes, apart from the D36, which I would definitely recommend as the better box for this sort of fishing, I bring two extra long inner legs, and that's all I bring. And so you can imagine. Uh, when you're travelling, probably with a partner, it makes fishing, you know, makes it a little easier. So if I, I'll set this up in the river, but you'll get an impression. <laughs> what I'm talking about, so I'll do it. Obviously, normally I would be stood in front of the foot plate. But I just want to sh give you them. So that is that as far up as it will go. But actually, that's not too far out from where I want to be. So you've got to, the main thing you're trying to solve here is it looks very tranquil at the moment. But when these big boats go by, and particularly the power boats sometimes, they can create an, an enormous wake. So I'd say you want to be between a foot a foot and a half off the water and what I tend to do is I'll set the rear legs at about a foot and then I'll set them at the back first get them level and once I've got them level and you notice I've taken the drawers off this is the platform side of the op box you'd never put a platform in the water while you still got your seat box strapped to it then what is how would that be that would be stupid wouldn't it and what you need to do and the reason why you have to put it slightly in the water you need to get your keep net forward of the rocks uh, to be fair to the fish so as you can see there it goes down there quite a you know you've got a bit of a drop from the rear so if i Sort my back end out first. So looking at this, this wants to go. So that, that back end is now level. So all I've got to do now is lift the foot plate up until my spirit levels and I've got plenty of leg to just drop down to the river bed. I can see the river bed. I've got a nice flat bottom here. Okay, things I would be looking for is if I've got loose rocks that might move, I'll remove them to make sure I've got solid blocks that's the platform set up <clears throat> so what I'll do now now I'll get the uh, drawers on just a thing on the inner legs you can tighten them up as much as you want you will not damage them and if you look on the collars <clears throat> the collars are butted up against the of the outer leg the foot plate rails now they can't actually go anywhere <clears throat> same on the outer on the front foot plate so you can imagine out there the last thing you want is for your seat box to fail and when it's going to fail if it's going to fail it's when you're going to get a massive uh, wave coming in and if it does well you're going to lose a lot of tackle might even have to go for a swim so that's the drawers on I could put the back shelf on now while I'm there right reason why the back shelf's important the water is going to come up this bank any bag I have on that bank or any gear is not going to survive a big wave but if I put this on here I can now take my hold all that 
that is now perfectly in place. What I can also do then, so I've got easy access to everything I'm fishing. I'll put this post in here. If the wind's coming from behind me, this is the post I'm going to put my umbrella on. But it's also the post I'm going to put my top kit set on. I won't put it on quite yet because I want to get my bait weighter set up. I use these extension arms. We're bringing out an improved version this month, which is particularly useful for the D25 anglers. We've increased the length of this post to 30 centimetres, allowing D25 anglers the ability to raise the bait weighter up higher should they want to. Right, so bait weighter can now go on. I always use the, ex uh, I've tried the uh, standard, but the weather in North Holland can be a bit like Ireland. And I just like the extra lid capacity and shelter, which is a big factor in Holland. This is the first day we've had some decent weather and some of the matches sometimes in Holland have to get stopped for health and safety reasons because the weather, particularly the uh, um, lightning and that. Right, so, should be able to... Right, so that can be open. So you can see I've tilted it slightly forward. forward. I'm normally going to, actually thinking about that, for me, it's going to be a little, I'm going to want it a little bit closer in, but I like to just have it tilted slightly away. Right. Um, so what we've got to do now is put the top kit set on. So I'll do it from the front so you've got a good view of what I'm doing. And you can see I'm very quickly building the setup ready for the match. I'm fishing the match today on the festival I have pegged on stork's nest. So called because it's got a stork nest in it. We're so good at creating names that just stick and any angler that's come regularly to North of Ireland will know exactly where I am. Right. Put the feeder arm on. This is an out and out feeder swim today, so no messing around. Here's an example of how varied the fishing is. Yesterday I needed 100 gram feeders with legs at 20 meters. This swim I'll probably get away with 45 because I've got a groin to my left. And is where your river craft comes in. I haven't even set a rod up yet, but I know. That's what I'm going to need. Um, the other thing I do is I'll have a bag on the end of my keep net. And that's because I'm going to want to put some substantial weight in the bag. Uh, because when these boats go by, it's not fair to the fish really if they're getting smashed around. So while I'm putting this in, what I'm looking for is reasonable size stones I can put in and interestingly I'm stood in the water now and the current's going this way but the main river's going that way and I'm going to be fishing about 25 meters today just into the crease into the main flow and interestingly about four meters out there's virtually no flow, so I'm going to have my landing net set at four metres because that will make fishing, landing the fish so much easier because if I suddenly get the fish into this current, well, I'm just creating more work for myself, aren't I? Right, so let's have a look on the around for some boulders. They all seem to be monsters here. 
there's always some reasonable ones. Here we go. Perfect. A couple of them. They're going to weigh it down nicely. Now I do know this river very well, what I would say is if you don't know the river, don't go out wading unless you can see the bottom. Luckily, 99% of the time, and certainly today, where it's crystal clear, you can see absolutely everything on the bottom. That's what makes this river so interesting. Every swim is different. There's no get to your peg, get to your venue with a plan. So I'll put the rotating seat on now. Uh, and the little tray I have on the front. And that, chaps is me, set up for the day. That didn't take long at all, we didn't rush. Got a nice solid setup. Very comfortable setup, very efficient setup. I was saying in the army, anyone can be uncomfortable. Right, so that's going to go on there. Put my tray in with my bits and bobs in. Suntan cream for today. Lots of different feeders. Fish counter. Because I'm going to catch loads of bream today, at least that's what I'm going to tell myself. Because if you don't don't uh, believe it, it'll never happen. So that's the setup. I'll stop the filming now. Match starts in about an hour's time, and hopefully um, we'll have a good match. I'll put some of it on film, and uh, keep your fingers crossed. Till the next video, tight lines.